Hi, good day everyone. This is Jakob from Axiros Labs Munich and now I'm going to give you an introductory guide to our Access software optimized for VoIP phones. Access closes the gaps between your SNOM phones and your PBX to get the most out of your hardware, making it much more secure than common HTML solutions. For the purpose of this guide we set up a small demo environment at Axiros Labs to give you an overview of the Access modules, to outline the basic functionality, notable features and overall benefits of using Access. The initial screen after login can be set as required by the customer. In this demo that's the ACS overview or summary. Infographs visualize managed devices over time, device states, applied software versions, periodic inform intervals and log levels. All valuable information available at a glance. Access SNOM offers zero-touch provisioning, meaning no CPE has to be registered or configured manually. The DHCP service option 66 will supply your CPE with the ACS address via Tiny File Transfer Protocol. Single devices can also be added by an activation link. Let's have a look at the navigation on the left hand side. CPE Search will bring up the CPE's overview, where you can find and manage all your devices with a multitude of options. Here you also find the super easy CSV export, which lets you quickly generate listed inventories of your devices. The table offers detailed information on the individual device, like CPE ID, IP address, as well as first and last contact with the ACS. Most notable here are the quick actions, configure workflows, properties, log, PD diagnostics and delete, and the state column. Access allows you to manage thousands of devices with minimal time and effort. To make operability better and to let you manage your devices fast and efficient, there is a great number of preset filters to choose from. Of course you can easily define new filters optimized for your needs. As you can see the filters directly affect the search criteria. Make sure to set values here when defining new filters. Filters can also be useful and relevant when creating new workflow campaigns. There is two quick ways to create new campaigns. Campaign by list, only affecting the selection and campaign by condition, which will also affect CPEs being added in the future. Let's create a campaign by list. In the general options you can set name, script, default enable, priority, log level, number of calls per CPE and default disabled statistics. We will do a simple reboot workflow in this example. Of course there is a huge amount of available scripts and we can work together to create new ones to suit your requirements. The advanced settings lets you create more complex workflows with post processing and time settings as well as triggers on special CPE events. Most notable here is the feature limiting which lets you enroll the campaign to only a few CPEs allowing you to make sure that everything works as intended before handling possibly thousands of devices with a single campaign. The campaign page lists all the workflow campaigns that have been created so far in a similar manner as the CPE's overview. You can quickly identify active campaigns, the scripts used and the count of successfully finished and failed workflows. Note the quick actions and the info button. The support portal is one of the key features of the Xerus Access solution and can be used directly without the need to log on to the ACS. With it you can easily find and access individual CPEs. Once you identified the CPE you want to access, simply click on it to find more detailed up to date information on the device. The panes, device and LAN information, voice profiles, device and server logs and pending jobs give you a good idea on the state of the device within mere seconds. Via the phone web GUI you can remotely access and configure the phone's actual display settings. Via workflows support can configure and troubleshoot CPEs. Under firmware settings you can see supported models and edit their respective default and supported firmware versions. It shows the firmware upgrade file and its location. Firmware images shows all available firmware versions and lets you upload new firmware with a few mouse clicks. The XML template control is a storage of preset language specific templates for XML configuration files of your phones, device specific, individual or universal. With a fast import export it's the perfect feature for globally active companies with CPEs all around the world. Device data import lets you quickly import CSV data of your phone users by simple copy and paste. List imports shows all imported CSV data. Data definition allows you to set data criteria relevant for optimal management of phone user data and safety. Device Backup and Replacement is making use of the config file management, a great tool that will enhance your user help desk and troubleshooting in terms of speed and efficiency. 
It lists all stored configs and lets you easily identify configs of specific users and devices. With a click of a button, you can edit CFGs or reassign them to another device. Last but not least, I want to thank you for your time and interest in Axirus Access. Have a nice day, everyone.